It's still hot in the rut, but angling between horses, Chocolate Filling is now coming after the leader. On the far outside, Old 45 is set down to try to make up some ground. Then Old G-Man swinging to the far outside. Tis Snow still with a chance. Chocolate Filling's got the lead. Down on the inside, hot in the rut. Outside, Old 45, but it's Chocolate Filling getting the victory. Second best was Old 45. Three-way photo finish for the show dough. Either Hunt in the Rut, Old G-Man, or Tiz Snow. Winning time, 137-4. And, and they're off. Right to the lead goes Rough Knight. Right behind that one, Claw looks to move up into second. Then between horses, Alt in third. Outside fourth is Inclusive. Joined up the rail by Zero Gravity. And Ronald R is at the back. As they cruise into that first turn, down along the rail, Rough Knight, Ronald Allen Jr. holds the advantage. Racing in second. Just a length and a half back is going to be Claw, then zero gravity towards the inside. To the outside comes Alt, then Ronald R. Inclusive sits at the back, about four and a half from the front runner, who remains Rough Knight. A 15 to 1 shot out there with the advantage. Second on the outside, Claw stalks that pace. On the rail is zero gravity alongside. Alt is still right there. Then we drop back another length, asking for a bit more as Ronald R. And Inclusive is at the back of that pack. Rough Knight continues to lead. Out Outside Claw now asks for more. Down along inside, Zero Gravity is right there. And the favorite alt sits in fourth. Down on the inside, Ronald R. And still the back is inclusive, but it's a tightly bunched field. All chasing Rough Knight out there. A 15 to 1 shot. Here comes Claw on the outside. Ask for more. Back third along the inside. Zero Gravity still in with a chance. Then comes Alt circling up on the outside. Inclusive full of run. And Antonio Guiardo is picking him off one after another. Is about to take second at the top of the stretch. Rough Knight trying to hold that top spot. And here comes Inclusive. Break behind him on the inside. Zero Gravity is looking for room. Up the rail. Ronald R is there. But Rough Knight clinging to a short lead. Zero Gravity down on the inside trying to get to him, but it's going to be Rough Knight having a wonderful day. Up the inside, zero gravity. Late charge gets second, but won't get to the winner. Back in third was inclusive, rounding off the super. Ronald R. Winning time, 142 and 2. There in the gate, and they're off and racing in the third. Breaking alertly on the outside is Life Mission. Towards the inside comes Shadow Tracer. Then he's smoking now. A long ways back to the early trailer, and that's Gins and Tins. Life Mission, Pablo Morales out there setting the pace, has the lead by two and a half. In second, Shadow Tracer now stocks that pace. Back in third, up the rail comes Gins and Tins, and now he's smoking now, drops back to be the trailer, about six or seven from the front runner, and that is all life mission. Pablo Morales on the engine, has the lead by three lengths, slowly but gradually. Uh, Shadow Tracer now inching closer to the leader, back in third is Gins and Tins, then comes Life at the back of the pack as he's smoking now. Short lead for life mission, but more Shadow Tracer starting to reel that one in. Down on the inside, Gins and Tins looking for racing room. Life Mission's got something left, and Pablo Pablo Morales kicks loose again by a length. Back in second is Gins and Tins. Outside, Shadow Tracer. As they head for home, Life Mission 5 to 2 gets the victory. Gins and Tins and a photo finish with Shadow Tracer for second. Back and forth was he smoking now. And they're off. There goes Two Docs, True Majestic, sent out for the early lead, quickly joined by Bell's Kingdom down on the rail moving through, and back in third is Bourbon Blast. Sitting in the fourth position early will be Midnight Pirate, and then at the back of the pack, outside So Moxie moves outside a double dot. Right now on the lead, it's still Two Docs, True Majestic, Huber Villa Gomez so far holding off Bell's Kingdom, who took a run at the leader, drops back two lengths behind him. Another three and a half to Bourbon Blast, followed by Midnight Pirate, who's on the move. Then another length and a half back to So Moxie and Double Dot still at the back. They continue down the backside. Now Bell's Kingdom, Eddie Dominguez says go. He's right alongside a Two Docs Room Majestic who's digging in and trying to hold this one off. Those two are clear now by three and a half lengths on Bourbon Blast and Midnight Pirate to the outside. At the back are So Moxie and Double Dot. There goes Bell's Kingdom, Eddie Dominguez, eight to five favorite now looking to sprint away from Two Docs Roadster and then... 
Down the outside, here comes Midnight Pirate. Behind them, Bourbon Blast. And further out, So Moxie starting to close the gap. Midnight Pirate on the outside says go. Takes a short lead. In between horses, Two Docks, Rue Majestic refusing to give up. He's still right there second. Then on the outside comes So Moxie. Followed back between horses by Bourbon Blast. Off the turn, Midnight Pirate short lead. Here comes Bourbon Blast with a run. Outside, So Moxie is there. It's still Midnight Pirate inside Bourbon Blast. Midnight. Night Pirate Avery Wisman goes on to an easy victory here at 7 to 1. Bourbon Blast, second best, tight for the show, though. Looked like so Moxie held on over double dot. Winning time, 138 and 1. There in the gate, and they're up and racing. Honorable comes right out for the early lead in second, Beach Pass, joined outside by Cask. Up the rail, there goes Starship Empire, and at the back looking for room is Atlantic Ruler. They head into that first turn, and Honorable Ronald Allen Jr. out there on the lead, slows it down a bit, has a three quarter of a length lead over Beach Pass, Cask moving on the outside, then back towards the inside, that is the closer, Starship Empire. Three wide at the back is Atlantic Ruler. Quarter one in 26 and one. It's a real slow dog paddle pace out here, and it's being set by Honorable. In second on the outside, that is Beach Pass. Racing in third towards the inside comes uh, Starship Empire. Then on the far outside, Cass sits in fourth, about to be joined by Atlantic Ruler, who gains momentum on the far outside. It's still Honorable holding that advantage. Second is Beach Pass. On the far outside, Atlantic Ruler makes a move up into third. Back and forth is Starship Empire, and the trailer is Cask. On the lead, Honorable continues the lead. He's asked for a bit more to hold off Beach Pass in second. Up on the far outside, Atlantic Ruler now third, matching strides with Starship Empire to the inside. Losing uh, ground is Cask, now the trailer. It's still Honorable holding the lead. Second on the outside, Beach Pass circling up on the outside. Here comes Starship Empire set down for late bid then up the inside cast now moving late it's honorable ronald allen jr with the lead outside here comes starship empire look at him in the eye and going right on by there goes eddie dominguez to score the victory here for fun back in second honorable battles with beach pass beach pass getting the better for second then honorable in third up for fourth cask but no doubt about the winner 142 and two for starship empire They're off and racing. Jumping out for the lead is Life Don't Owe Ya. There on the far outside is Genevieve Ziva racing in second. Then up the inside third is the favorite, like a salt shaker. Right alongside that one and moving up is going to be Rio Bejo on the outside, Valentine Bug on the inside, and at the back early is Summerfest. Don't like life don't owe you is the pace setter out there with the lead by two. Between horses, Genevieve Ziva is still right there. Looking for room on the rail, Valentine Bug, then Rio Bejo, and like a salt shaker, the trailer remains Summerfest. They're chasing life don't owe you. Ronald Allen Jr. with the lead, Genevieve Ziva there on the outside, second towards the inside. Valentine Bug now making a nice move behind them. Like a salt shaker will need some racing room. Rio Bayo is caught wide to the far outside. Splitting horses coming in the three path. Like a salt shaker now moving after the leaders. In second, Life Don't Own Ya. Down on the rail, Valentine Bug behind the pack. Summerfest putting in a big dig. Right now, Valentine Bug's got the lead. Here comes Like a Salt Shaker. Rocco Bowen shaking this one up and coming after the lead. These two to the wire. Up in time, like a salt shaker for the win. Second best was Valentine Bug. Photo for third between Life Don't Owe Ya and Summerfest. Winning time, 109 and 1. Last to load, Bulka now steps up. And they're up and racing. Down the center track, Dana's Beauty comes out running. Down on the inside, Battle Charges there, and three wide of the group is Tap Dance Fever. Up the rail goes Red Venus, and lingering at the back is Boca. They head into the turn, and Battle Charge leads the way under Pablo Morales. He's got the lead by a length and a half. Second on the outside, Dana's Beauty, with Tap Dance Fever third towards the inside. Now up the inside comes Red Venus. At the back of the pack still is Boca. Down the backside, Battle Charge, and even money has the advantage in second. Just the link back is Dana's Beauty. Red Venus sitting third towards the inside. Behind them comes Tap Dance Fever. And another 
long ways back to uh, Boca, who trails the field. The quarter a comfortable pace out here, 25 flat for Battle Charge, who leads by just a length. It's Dana's Beauty sitting second on the outside. Towards the rail third is Red Venus. Then comes Tap Dance Fever. And another three or four back to the trailer, Boca. It's still Battle Charge out there leading the way, but going now on the outside. Here comes Tap Dance Fever between horses. Dana's Beauty is right there. Dropping back and forth is Red Venus. And then it's still another five lengths back to Boca. As they make their way around the final turn, down on the inside, Battle Charge holding off so far. Outside, Tap Dance Fever is there looking to split horses. Dana's Beauty, another two and a half back to Red Venus. And at the back, Boca trying to make a late bid. There goes Tap Dance Fever up to take the lead. Back in second is Dana's Beauty, and third is Battle Charger. On the far outside, Red Venus coming with a late run. Dana's Beauty between horses takes a short lead. Tap Dance Fever. Here comes Red Venus. Red Venus after Dana's Beauty, and Red Venus scores the win under Gadiel Martinez. Second best was Dana's Beauty. Photo finish for the show, though. Boca, or excuse me, Tapa Dance Fever or Battle Charge in that photo for third. They're off and racing. A good even break. Vying for the lead there on the outside is going to be Julie's Grace along with Gucci Gao. Then back along the inside, Princess Gold Digger, her royal gold digger, Princess Tenna is there. Another length to half back on the outside to down to earth and Waterloo Sunset. And then up the inside comes Corded. The trailer is Shipman's Magic. Short lead inside for Royal Gold Digger being pressured by Julie's Grace who's right there. On the, between horses, Princess Tyne trying to move up. Also there is going to be Waterloo Sunset. And on the outside, there goes uh, Julie's Grace moving back up to reclaim the third. And into fourth on the outside is down to earth. As they head around the turn, Julie's Grace short lead inside Royal Gold Digger is right there trying to keep up on the far outside. Down to Earth has come alive, and he's moving three wide after the leaders between horses. Gucci Gallon with a chance. It's all Julie's Grace right now. Outside, down to Earth trying to get to him. Then on the inside, moving late, here comes Corded. And also there, Royal Gold Digger in between horses. Far outside comes Waterloo Sunset. It's Julie's Grace with the lead, and they're not going to catch her today. Back in second was Down to Earth. Finishing third, Waterloo Sunset tight for the fourth spot to round off the super, either Princess Tyne or Corded. Winning time, 111 and 1.